Hey there, people. It's Cuddlesnot, and I'm here with episode 38. Yeah, 38 of the Dark Siders 100% Apocalyptic Walkthrough. And here we go with the beginning of the Iron Canopy. Last time we got all the items in the Ashlands we could without the Abyssal Chain, so pretty much everything we need ruin to get. And now we just have a nice, peaceful ride to get to the Iron Canopy full of spiders and big spiders and a really big spider and yeah lots of spiders so if you don't like spiders this is not the dungeon for you but you got to do it anyway so suck it up man or woman suck it up but yeah now we're just using carrots to charge forward get a burst of speed ah, carrots anyway now we are riding, and... Oh no! Oh my god, they got us. Oh my god. Yeah, like this web is gonna hold the, the horsemen of the apocalypse. Really? Dumb spiders. They want to die. Anyway, okay, so here we go with the iron canopy. But before we take off, let's go get the soul chest that's behind here. Ooh, hi, soul chest. Skull punch face. I say that way too much, because I think it's hilarious, but, you know, whatevs. But, okay, so. This is, you know, we've seen him before, but now we actually know that in this dungeon we're going to get the Abyssal Chain, which allows us to grab onto these. These are swing points, and these are, you know, just grapple points where we'll go and you can hang from them. And from these blue ones you can swing. But we'll figure that out soon enough when we actually get the item. So, let's continue forward. By crossing that bridge. And, ooh, our first spiderling. Let's kill it with a trimmer. Oh, totally not necessary, but we did it anyway. And it's a web door. How cool is that? And the watcher showing us where to go. Good for you, watcher. Oh, and thank you. All it's saying is that we can't beat him yet without without the abyssal chain to like rip off his shell. So just ignore him for now. Let's kill these guys. Why not? Why not? Get some weapon experience. Doesn't hurt. I guess scythe. I like scythe. Again, like I'm really using the scythe a lot because it's awesome. And dark death. Bleh, 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 bleh. Dark Siders 2 is coming out. Oh, I'm so excited. But no, that's not the point. Uh, the point is that Dark Siders 2 is gonna be awesome. But that's not the point here either. Okay. Uh, the point is that we have a little, little, not really a puzzle thing to do. So let's pull out the crossblade. Okay, so if we don't use the chronosphere, we don't get across because he will stop us from crossing, kind of like a gormaw in those couple of like you know chain rooms. So, so you got to keep in mind. But, whoa! I didn't mean to. Yes, I did mean to fall. I don't know what I'm doing. And okay, now we're past, and we will be back to destroy. There's four of those that'll allow us to gain access to you know. The, uh, the Slithia, the main bad guy. Um, and we need to destroy all four of those, like, big spider guys once we get the Abyssal Chain in order to unlock her. So we will be back to fight him. But! There, we just killed someone for awesome reasons. And another secret thing up there that we'll have to come back and get once we get the Abyssal Chain. So much to not do. It's kind of actually kind of straightforward until we get the chain and then we can do all the backtracking. Um, which, that is what we'll do. And, oh no, it's destroyed! So we can't go back that way till we get the Abyssal Chain. See, it's just, it's just kind of, kind of, you know, funneling us until we get the chain. And over there is just, as you can see, the Beholder's Key that we need to get in there, so we're not going to go over there yet. But there is these, uh, there is a Wrap Shard right here that we can get. Oh my god, I have no health! What the hell happened? Okay, I guess we're using health. I guess I started this dungeon with no health. That's weird. I don't remember not having any health. You think you remember something like that? 
But no. Okay, and this is a really easy thing just to run past, but there's actually some wrath and a wrath shard right here. So boom. Wrath shard, and we get to another wrath core. Sweet. How sweet is that? And back here there's also a wrath chest. But we're, since we don't need it, we'll we'll save it for later in case we do. And since we already got the 300 chest thing achievement, you know, there's... We're not even halfway through the... I mean, we're a little past halfway through the game, so... Yeah, I'd, I'd say... I'd say that we're good. Um... Yeah, there's something over here, am I? Yeah, yeah, I'm not crazy. I just like destroying walls with my flaming sword. Let's rip open the door. Okay, so... This is a little bit of a puzzle. But first thing is that there's these egg sacs that explode with spiderlings. So, you know, might as well take them out. You can use the you can use the gun to take them out too. But they actually I think that I believe they respawn, so you just, you know, don't let them gang up on you. Um, if you want to get some extra weapon spirits, you can do that, but it's not really necessary. Uh Okay, this thing's waiting that down, so let's shoot it. Shoot the spiders with the gun, and they can climb the wall, so be prepared to fight. And when did I change the turbo gauntlet? I don't remember making that change. But we did end the run, so we're just going to change back to the scythe, like we just did, and it have been for a little while. And now, killing spiders with a scythe. Kind of kind of overkill, I would think, but, you know, whatever. He's war, he can do whatever the hell he wants. Okay, so we're going to do this, uh... There's actually, there's two things we can get. Um, because we need to get up to the top floor, but there's the chest, I believe is before the key, right there on the center, so we have to get there, too. Um, look at that soul chest first. And, damn your spiders! Damn you all to hell. I don't know if that actually would mean anything in this context, you know, considering that, you know, hell's this, hell's that, blah, 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 but, anyway. Now there's a switch that we're going to hit. That at the moment... Did something? Oh yes, it gave us access to the chronosphere. Again, I don't have... I think I said this before, but I don't have sound, so I don't know what actually is going on when something happens. I'm just going from memory and visuals, so there's no visual like that. I'm kind of confused, but it's all good, because it's all here. But yeah, so... Actually, I don't know why I came back over. Now we're going to go climb up on this these little handholds here to get up to the top floor so we can get onto the platform and shoot the exact. Come on, Scythe. Do your job. He was a good Scythe. Yeah, that's a good Scythe. Good Scythe. My God. Ow, oh, ow, bad spider. You know, it's the, it's the biggest, you know, splice water. But you don't really use splice water for spiders. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just awesomely overkill for just little spiders to use death scythe. Come on, no, bad. Eat. Scythe. You need to stop making that bad joke. Okay. Um, okay, so, if you jump across this without the chronosphere, we'll do it right now. Is that, you know, because it's a, it's a weight balance. The problem is, as you get closer to here, you don't have time to run across and get up there uh, without um, it, you know, because as you run, and there's the map, as you run, it tips away from there. So we have to use the chronosphere in order to get up there. Which we will in one minute. After we get off the damn... Spiderlings, or broodlings, or whatever. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now we have to get back across. But we didn't even get that map, so it's fine. Let me jump back up. I'm just saying exactly what I'm doing, because obviously you're not watching, you're just listening. My voice is fantastic. And... What? Oh, I didn't jump up high enough, because I am a moron. Okay, up, 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 and... Okay, so what we're going to do, we're not going to actually hit the crosshair until we run it, because it'll. if we hit the crosshair, then jump, it won't 
get up. We have to wait for it to actually lift up. Then we hit the chronosphere. So as we run across, it doesn't, you know, tip downwards too fast that we can't get up here. Like this. Wonderful. And we smash this chest. You know, su such a brute just like s smashes the top of the chest and opens them, you know, like no consideration for people that are coming after him, you know. Someone has to clean up that chest. You know, like the 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 dungeon maid or something. What 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 whoops. That was lucky. I almost died right there. That would have been embarrassing. But I didn't, so it's okay. It just takes a little bit longer to get around. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're going back to use the beholder's key to get into that little area. Do we need wrath? No, we do not need wrath. So we're not going to grab the chest. And we climb on the growth drop and stick the key in the eye of the beholder. And now we rip open this. And we are in here again. And as you can see, there is another one of those spider dudes right below us. Hi there, buddy. Um, and I ran right into that. Um, but again, we can't kill him until we get the abyssal chain. But we are going to need to stun him um, by having the Gorma take this and and drop it. But before we do that, there's stuff up here that we can get, so we're going to get it. Yummy. There's something up here. There has to be... Yeah, there. See? Another Wrath Shard. Hi, Wrath Shard. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um... Is there anything else up here, is there? No. There's no. I'm just crazy. Okay. Um, and also, you can, you know, shoot that and jump back up there if you missed it the first time. Not a big deal. And then when the Gormel comes back down, then you can use it. Not a big deal at all. So, see, he doesn't really attack you. He just follows you when you're on the ceiling. He follows you now. No, he doesn't. Um, it's really, it's really kind of weird. Uh, you can stun him. I mean, you need to stun him, because otherwise he'll attack you when you're crossing this right here. And that's why you need to stun him. But we're going to go in this... This is how you get back up. Uh, after you fall down without stunning him. By having the Gormod drop the big, you know, platform. So, we're going to go back up there. Have the Gormod drop him. Drop. Drop it. And then it'll be stunned, and then we can run across. Again, because if we don't have him stun, you know, the big spider, then it'll eat us. We don't like being eaten. Eat, being eaten is not very productive, and, you know... Saving, not what's the word? He's not saving the world. He's you know, on a revenge trip to 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 clear his good name, I guess, because War definitely has a good name, being a you know horseman of the apocalypse. But um, you know that's neither here or there. Um, but yeah, and come on, s smash these broodlings. So. If you've seen, no, I'm not even. I've 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 played it too many times. So if you're trying to get the battle hard achievement, which means you have to uh, you have to grind up the weapon levels of all your weapons. Which you know, if you're just playing through the game, is not quite enough to get all your weapons up to max level. Considering you usually use the cast eater anyway. Um, and it's to come back here, not necessarily to this room, but any of the rooms where there's just a bunch of spiderlings and just just you know, because each weapon hit counts as experience. So, uh, so, like, it doesn't have to be a big guy. You get as much experience for punching him, you know, punching a spider as you do, like, you know, a phantom soldier. So, keep that in mind. You can come here, you know, because they constantly respawn, and there's lots of them. Each one of those is, you know, a weapon experience hit, and you can use that to level them up fairly quickly when you're grinding for that achievement after you beat the game. But, okay, so now he's stunned on the ground. We can't kill him, because, again, we don't have the abyssal chain, but now he won't eat us when we try to cross this. So that's what we're going to do. Sweet, we made it. And this is where the Watcher was telling us to go earlier, too. So, we listened to the Watcher, we made it across, and we did lots of good stuff. 
And now we're continuing through the Iron Canopy. And... Uh, see, it's just so much stuff you need the Abyssal Chain for. But, ooh! I like these items. Th these guys are fun to fight, I think. This has got another over oversized sword like war, and that's you know, like almost like fighting yourself. Not not quite like it is at the you know in Eden. Oops, spoiler alert. In Eden, when you actually do kind of find Shadow version of yourself, like you know Shadow Shadow Link and Ocarina of Time. But you know neither here nor there. Or Twilight Princess, or you know pretty much any Zelda game. But that's okay, you know, because I I really don't have a problem, you know, like everyone, not everyone. Some people are like, oh my god, they just it's just like God of War, it's just like Devil May Cry, or they just stole all the ideas from Zelda. Yeah, but it's it's like it's a fantastic synthesis of all these different games, and it's I mean it turns into this, and it's in a fascinating world with a great art style, and it's just such a good game. I don't care if it's derivative. That's okay. It, it, they picked all the right games to be derivative of. And, you know, to, they're paying homage to all of them at the same time. It's really, it's kind of sweet. But yeah. So while there is, you know, something up there we need the Abyssal Chain for, there is a artifact that we can grab right now. A soldier artifact that we're going to do. It's going to be a little tricky. Um, you kind of have to, like, get to the edge here and not fall off like that. And then Shadow Glide over. Um, I think you can technically eat more easily do it from up there. Uh, I don't know if you can. I don't know if I can reach it, but I know you can reach it from here, so that's where we're going to get it, because we're being efficient, as efficient as possible, even though I still make mistakes, like getting that 500 soul chest way too late before. But anyway. Uh, okay. Well, you know what's going What's that? Three? Well, a little counter. Three. Three misses. And we get it on the fourth. Ah, screw the counter. It's too much work. And we get a soldier artifact. Sweet. And now we can go through the door. So we're going through the door. Okay, what are we doing now? Ooh, bombs. That pretty much means shoot the bombs, and you'll be fine. So, oh, there's all these spiderlings. Let's not wake them up. Let's just blow up the bombs. Bombs blowing up. Look at all those spiderlings. Okay, so, enough of this. Shockwave. Punch. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's get some more. Let's get some more Tremor experience. Doesn't hurt leveling it up. Or does it? Does it hurt? I don't know. I don't think it hurts. Well, it's kind of hurting right now, but that's... You know, besides the point. Okay. Okay, one more left. And we shot it. So, it's all good. Okay, so, this puzzle gets a little weird. It's not really weird, it's just kind of like a little... A little, you have to you have to kind of metal through it, but it's not difficult, and we'll do it right now. So, you know, obviously, so the bomb growth's on there, and we need to get the bomb growth up a floor if you went up without doing this part, and um, as you know, and get up there. Where? How, oh yeah, bomb. Demonic growth. And uh, then we need to, you know, blow up some red crystal that's up there. But we need to get the sucker all the way upstairs first. So that's what we're going to do. And there's all these lifts. And, you know, I'm not quite sure. What would this room be before the apocalypse? You know, before it turned in, covered in demonic growth and became a puzzle for war. You know, what was this room? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You can tell me what it was, because I really don't know. I got it because I kept on not being able to punch across the way, but we'll do it this time, so I won't waste all your guys' time. But anyway, we were talking about, like, what okay, what the hell is this place, right? So, okay, first thing, you gotta push it to the edge, and then punch it across. Like that. Beautiful! And went right onto the platform. How nice. Um, and... See, there's, like, a barrel... No, is that, like, a water heater? What is that? Like, if it was... It's not a... I thought maybe it was, like, maybe it was an oak barrel, like a wine barrel. It looks like a water tank. So this was, like, the maintenance room of this place before it got destroyed. But, I mean, what exact maintenance... But then, like, these are some weird lifts or maintenance room. Really big maintenance room. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I think it's a maintenance room, but, you know, you can, you can tell me what you think. And this thing's going crazy, so we're gonna hit it to make it shut up. And let's get across. And... Oh, there's still explosive up there. Get away, get away, get away, get away. 
Good. Don't get him up. Don't come up. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Okay, now we're up here. Get away from that explosive. Good. See, okay. So now that's on the bottom platform, we can lift it up. And now we have bomb growth, so we can destroy the red crystal. Sweet! As you can also see, there's a platform up there that we need to get to. Unless... Oh yeah, we have to we have to go around and get up there. We can't we can't get there from here, as you can see on the map. But okay, let's get up here, grab the bond growth, and throw it. All right, so I died in this fight because I'm a moron and barely had any health. But that's not the point. The point is that we are going to beat it this time. Yeah, I shouldn't be wasting the environment, because we get bigger guys that we can use the environment on, so that's what we're going to do. Don't waste the environment. Kettle stops number one tip. Ah! Oh, and don't get hit. Number two tip. Kettle stops rule number one. Don't waste the environment, even though I was doing it. See, I was doing it so just to show as an example, you guys. Rule number two. Let's rule number two. Oh yeah, don't get hit. That's what I just said. I can't remember what I just said. How sad is that? No, I pressed B, damn it. Ugh. Should not have gotten hit there. Move. Move, move, move. Stop blocking. See, it's such a good good idea to block, but I don't do it for whatever reason. And he's dead. And he's dead. And he's dead. Ha 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 so it's a kind of a leveled up Golan, you know, like the big flaming guys from before, but it looks like he's got like stone armor, and he charges this time, which is, you know, exciting. But we have a solid environment left, so we're going to use it to our advantage. Also, after he charges, he gets stunned, so that's a good time to, you know, get in there and and uh, give him some what's fur, what fur, and, you know, whatever that is. But we're going to use all the environment first. Because we can do that from a distance, and it does lots of damage because we still have that uh, that enhancement equipped. So we're going to use it. And it doesn't look like we have anything left. And we got out of the way. Good for us. And we didn't get away from that one. Not good for us. So we're going to do that again. Let's stone skin this. Just to be safe. And attack it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get out of the way. Come on, charge again. There we go. Good doing exactly what I say. Good job. And now, he's dead! Awesome! We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Okay. Now, there's a couple different things we can do. First, we're going to go through here, although I think we need the Abyssal Chain to get up there. Yes, we do, but we can't get a soul chest right now. And there's another item we need the Abyssal Chain for, so we will be back for that. And there is a spider, I guess, we had to crush, so we crushed it. But... That'll be it for this episode. So, thanks guys for watching. Do all the things you like to do, like like, subscribe. Uh, please subscribe. I love all you guys. I love all my subscribers. Um, share, favorite, do all the things you guys like to do, like I just said. And if you like the spreadsheet guides, all these episodes, send, make sure you're a subscriber and send me a PM, and I'll send you that spreadsheet link, that Google Doc link. Otherwise, um, thanks again, guys, for watching. This has been Cuddlesnot, and I will see you next time.